Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be showing you how to diagnose a faulty pressure washer pump. Pressure washers are a great addition to any home, but can develop common problems. If your machine leaks, pulses when not used, or has low pressure, this video will help you diagnose the problem. Safety first, always unplug an appliance before carrying out any work. Pressure washers can also develop electrical problems, but you can see me diagnosing and repairing those problems in a separate eSpares video. The first fault we're going to cover in this video is leaking. If your leak is coming from the hose, this is normally to do with the O-ring seal at the base of the hose here. This is easily removed and replaced. However, if your leak is coming from within the case of the machine, it is normally to do with one of these three items. Cylinder head or inlet and outlet elbows. Water left in the appliance over winter can freeze, expand and then break the plastic. However, it can be hard to identify visually where the cracks are. So a great way to test is to remove the case of the pressure washer, reapply the water hoses, turn the water on, but make sure the machine isn't plugged in. The water pressure will then identify which area the leak is occurring in. If there is a leak in any area of the cylinder head, the pressure that stops the machine from running when not in use will quickly disperse, causing the motor to restart or pulse. Again, find the leak or replace the seals. Another cause for the motor pulsing is water starvation. This can be down to a blocked filter on the inlet here. Remove and clean this if it pulses but does not appear to leak. Another common problem with pressure washer pumps is low pressure. This can be due to the o-ring seals inside the pistons here or to do with the valve here. So remove and clean out any dirt or debris and replace if necessary. So there we have it, diagnosing common problems with a pressure washer pump. Spares and accessories for pressure washers and all other household appliances can be found on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.